C'est bon. Welcome to the Montessori School. I'll let you follow me. So we can actually park along this road or up there. We have a private road. That's the Montessori School sign. Uh, we're open from 8 in the morning until 3 in the afternoon. Our visiting hours are from Monday to Friday from 3.30 to 5. I'll let you come in. So we funneled the children into the school for security reasons. This is an Australian gate, so you have to pull the top of the mushroom in order to get in. It's got a magnet and it pulls it down. So today it's the last day of the school and of course we've prepared all the folders and the painting uh, work that we've prepared for the end of the year. So these are things that we give out. Uh, as you come in the school we've got little uh, places where they can hang up their coats. We also have on the left hand side over here an idea um, a place where they can put their boots. So it's a rubber boots. It rains a lot in Switzerland, so you need to bring rubber boots. One of the requirements. As we come into this, to the school, each child gets one drawer, his name on it, and they can put in some pens in the drawer, their slippers, extra pants or underpants, or anything else that you might think of that they need during the year. They also have one, uh, a box, and inside the box they can put their spare shoes or spare boots. We also actually have to add on a label, and they have a picture, and their name. So we teach them how, where to put their, their coats or where to hang them up. So this is our display board, and on the display board, Mrs. Harrison, who's the teacher in the 4-6 to six classroom, will display, for example, right now she's working on fractions. So we have one strawberry, one whole, uh, one half, two halves of a strawberry, etc. So I won't go in all of that, but you can follow through me. Uh, you can follow me into the other classroom. So we have three classrooms. One, two to three, one, three to four, and one, four to six. This is the three to four classroom. Uh, the idea is that in this classroom, all the children are here and they're all playing in the garden. So I'm going to just show you in principle what happens. They have one drawer, same idea, the slippers, and a lot of parents put their uh, underpants, their shorts, inside the bag so it avoids uh, proliferation of lice. So you wrap it up, get it nice and folded, and put it into the drawer so we don't have any uh, problems especially if they're scratching the head. So this is the three to four classroom. On the right hand side of the wall, we have uh, different exercises that they do throughout the year. These are letters, so you've got the vowels and the consonants. And then we have some boxes, it's what we call practical life, so it goes from a very small box to a very large box. We have the binomial cube. This is an exercise, it's a pre presentation of um, algebra or pre-algebra. These are different sizes, so it's um, the idea of base of 10. Whoops, it's stuck. So you go from large to small. So you can see, small to large. And the idea is to put them on top of each other to make a tower. And that's what we call practical life. I won't do the whole thing, but that's the idea. So I'll put them back quickly. So I'd like to show you other things. Oh, put these back. Then we have geometric shapes, we have another set of fractions, we have uh, animals, this, this is biology, so they have to learn about the, uh, the toucan, the monkey, the snake, the anteater, the lizard, etc. So this is biology, they have to get to know the animals of the world. We also have letters, we teach them about letters. So they have to write letters, and then they have to recognize a name, and we can spell out the name like Carlos, C-A-R-L-O-S. It's a good way of teaching them how to write the names. Then we have knob cylinders, and the idea is you go from small to big. 
and we have two types of knob cylinders. We also have another one from large to thin. So from one extreme, and this is what we call sequence, the brain develops in two ways. You have a left hemisphere and a right hemisphere. And the idea is to develop both sides of, of your brain, not just one. Then we have different puzzles in this three to four classroom. And this is a set of animals that we find in the farm. And then they can take, take a carpet out. So whenever they play a game in this classroom, they have to take a carpet out. So we lay the carpets out here. They have to take one out, put it on the desk, take a game, and they can play it. So there's a, this is their space. This is your right hemisphere. This is your left hemisphere, so logic and sequence. And in this case scenario, they have to pair them together. It's the same color. For this one too, it's the same color, etc. So that game is all about pairing colors. So you get the principal, and they play on their area, and they sit on this chair. And the teacher always sits on the right-hand side of, of the student in order for them to listen properly. Because their right ear is dominant to their left ear, I mean left hemisphere. Uh, we also have uh, different types of games. We have a vegetable game. And the idea is to relate. So we have different cards, and on the cards, I'll turn it around so it's easy for you to see. So we have a potato, and I ask the child, can you find the potato? And then put the potato on the image. The same thing with the pepper. You have to find the pepper and put it on the picture. So it's very, very simple, but the idea is to develop cognitive skills for the three to four age group. So I'll put this back and we'll go into another classroom. I'll let you follow me. We also have a farm on this side. This is an easy way of introducing children to a, a farm. You have different animals and they always have a pair. So you have two cows, two donkeys, two cats, two hens, two cocks, uh, and we always pair them together. But the idea is if there's a crying child, get, get them to play with the farm and they calm down very quickly. So we have a time schedule, uh, in all classrooms we start at 8 in the morning uh, if the parents are very in a rush and they have to go to the, the train station and take the train into Geneva so we can start at 8, the teachers here are eight, start at 8 so they can uh, hold on to your child until 8.30, that I don't mind. Then we do two types of papers in the morning, it's either a drawing or writing letters. So in this classroom we focus on writing numbers from 0 to 9, from A to Z, so it's recognition of symbology. Each child gets a folder and inside the folder they have done all their exercises throughout the year. And that's why I've showed you previously outside on the entrance that they have folders and inside the folders it contains all the things they've done throughout the year. So I'll let you come with me.